Welcome to Quick and Dirty Land Cruisers. Today we're doing the 80 series. I'm sorry, wait a minute, that's the 100 series. We're doing the 100 series, brake, front brake pads. Same process on the 80 series. Uh, using Toyota factory pads, as you can see here. Nice Toyota factory pads, and as I showed in another video, um, I had aftermarket pads on the 80 and uh, switched them all out to these guys and it made a drastic difference to my stopping power. So let's get these new ones on this. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Let's get these. Uh, a lot of these Toyotas probably have the same system. It's, a, it's just basically these pads slide in and out like a cartridge. So you pull this little pin out. Let's set that aside. Don't lose it. Put this. Uh, well, actually, yeah. Here we go. Well, these guys, this little pin out of here, this little spring, it's like a, it's a tensioner. I guess it keeps the pad from vibrating. Now pull your, just slide these pins out. <clears throat> this is a, um, this is, I did replace this caliper about a year ago now, I think, um, due to, uh, the old one seizing up, so I had to put a new one in. All right, let's see how. Sometimes you can get a screwdriver and get these out. Just kind of pry them out if they're not in there too stiff. These are coming out pretty, pretty easily. Okay. Take a Use that to leverage them out. And then uh, you can get a clamp in there and you can clamp them out sometimes. Whoops, push that back in. So, all right, this one's coming up pretty good. Might be a better process the pros might have for this, but. There we go. That was just a uh, old AutoZone pad. So we'll pull our shim off the back here. I'm gonna reuse that. Keep those brakes quiet. Pry that's off. Stuck on there a little bit with the. Okay, put that in the garbage. Let's get the other one out. Okay, got them out. Let's see, get the shim off. This is called a shim. I've always called it a shim. Get a little spot here. Get started. Try not to poke this screwdriver through my hand, which I've almost done before. Uh, let's see here. Those right, aside, got my shims. Now, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and got a screwdriver or a big pry bar, and a little pry bar and a big screwdriver. So I'm gonna push these pistons in. This is a four piston brake caliper. Pretty big old truck like this doesn't need a big caliper. A lot of stopping power. Kind of push those pistons and the caliper back. 
so you can get your new pad in. That one's still kind of want to get them flush as much as you can. You kind of have to do both of them at the same time because they'll do, they'll do the walk a mole thing. Alright, I think I got that one. Get that. Put on my shim on here. Let's see, slide it back in. Take that big goop of brake quiet out. And I'm not going back with any more brake quiet. Um, you can, I mean, I've got kind of a lot left, left over on these shims. It's already dried, so I'm just gonna reuse that. Instead of doing that, I hope I don't regret that. Sometimes you need the brake quiet if you have a problem with them being noisy. And the way pads will typically be noisy is they'll they'll rub the back side of the piston. Uh, I'm just trying to show you. Uh, you know, when you put these on, actually these will go on like that. So I've got, you know, they'll rub the back of these. These aren't noisy and these shims usually keep them quiet. So I don't think I need brake quiet, more brake quiet on these. Um, but they'll rub, the pistons sometimes will rub the back of your pad and, and these shims do help quieten that down. Um, but that's what usually gives you your brake noise if you have a problem with that. This truck's been relatively pretty quiet all the time in the front, so I'm not worried about it. So I need to get my pistons pushed back. I'm doing this where I don't like scar the the rotor. So I'm working these guys back. Put my flat side here. Alright, this should just spill the side. Don't want to put it in backwards, that's for sure. I've never done that before. <laughs> okay, here we go. Pins. One rolled off. It's missing in action. No, there it is. I put it up on the left. And uh, you want to take this guy, put him in with it. It's a little easier to do that. the shim up and this one has a little different shim from the other side but it's alright. So let's get that in there like that. Push that all the way through. And then these guys will go Sometimes I forget which way these guys go. And if you forget how these little pins go, just go look at the other side uh, before you take it apart. I mean, sometimes it's easy to forget, forget how these little tensioners go. It just keeps your pins from vibrating and coming out and making noise.
There we go. So we're done. Uh, pretty easy job, really. <laughs>